Welcome back students to our series of Excel lectures. Today we will be doing 6.3 which is something called a nested if statement. The explanation will occur as we go along. As usual we go on bla onto Blackboard, we will go into content, we will find our MS Excel practical tasks, we go to our if statements which is what we are currently working with and this week we will be doing 6.3, 6.4 and 6.5. I am going to start today with 6.3. It is one of the more complex statements that you will need to learn the syntax because it is highly complex trying to put it in using the wizard. It is simply easier to learn the syntax. Let's have a look at the question paper. Just opening it here. And let's have a look what they would like us to do before I open the starter file. Let's make this a bit bigger so that you guys can see. If we jump to the answer, it is a Premier League football score summary. Now, what we need to work out in this activity will be the award in currency that is given. And if you have a look here, the medals that are given are gold, silver and bronze. Therefore, for each of those, for gold you're going to receive 500,000. For silver, you're going to receive 250,000. And for bronze, you're going to receive 100,000. So therefore, we have an if, and we have another if, and we have another if. Please don't let this confuse you at this stage. What I'm going to do is we have three if criteria today. And it's quite an interesting one, and it's really great when you get this correct. So I am going to highlight them in three different colors. For gold, you get half a million or 500,000. For silver, you are going to get 250,000. And then finally, for bronze, you are going to receive 100,000. So we have an F number one. An if number two, and finally an if number three. Now the syntax for this, if we take a look at it, well let's 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 open our starter file first and look where we would like to put the award, which is here in the last column, which is where we are going to place our nested if statement. So I'm going to open the Premier League starter file. And I'm going to work very carefully with my if statement. Always remember to enable editing. I'm going to make this a bit bigger so that we can see it almost full screen. And I'm going to make my column E quite big because we are going to be placing a fairly large equation in there. Now, students, if you recall, we have for gold, it must say here uh, 250,000, sorry, 500,000. For silver, it must say 250,000. And for bronze, it must say 100,000. So we've got if gold, if silver, if bronze. The easiest way to do this, and there is no easier way, is to learn the following syntax. I'm going to make it larger for you so that you can have a good look at our three if statements that are called nested. So I'm going to format my font. Let me make this nice and big for you. Let me make it even bigger. Let's make it visible there. 
Okay. Do I need to learn this? Yes, you do. It will make a lot more sense once you have completed it and you have done the activity and I recommend you practice this activity three, four, even five times in order to get your nested if function correct. Now you learn the syntax. So what I'm saying to you is learn your basic parenthesis and then all you have to do is punch in the relevant information. This is the way we've done it with the students last year, the year before and the year before and don't panic, everybody managed to get it right at the end of the day and I'm sure you guys will too. Let's take a look at our if number one. If what? Well we are in here C D4 where the gold is. So to speed things up for the purposes of this video I'm simply going to copy out my parenthesis my basic parenthesis without any information in it. I jumped to the end of the document quickly by mistake. Let's copy that and let's paste that in where we would like our answer. And now we can ask the questions. If what? If D4, so we'll put it in there, equals, and it is in inverted commas because it is text, gold, what is the condition then? Well, the condition is 500,000. And I'm going to place it in there. What is our second condition? Well, our second nested if is if D4 once again is equal to silver, it must say 250,000. And then, if you notice here, students, we don't have a third if. It is implied. So, you can consider the third if, which is the bronze, as a remainder. And we simply put a colon here and 100,000. So, let me move my document over. can't make that text any smaller, but I can make my column larger. Uh, I've clicked already and it said 500,000. We double click, there we go, let's look at our statement once again. It is three ifs. If I go back to the question paper, for gold, 500,000. For silver, 250,000. For bronze, 100,000. If we, when we look at the equation, it will be if number one, if number two, and finally a remainder. We do not have to specify the third if. So when we go back to our spreadsheet there, if D4 equals gold, it must say 500,000. If D4 equals silver, it must say 250,000. I do not need the third if because there is just a remainder and for bronze it would be 100,000. Do not let that little portion concern you and stress you. It is simply the fact that we don't put need to put in the third if statement in Excel. It is implied. And I call it a remainder. 
um, but it is technically implied. When I press enter, it is going to tell me there 500,000 for the award. Now, what we're going to do, use our fill handle, copy down, and the magic happens there. There we go. So, if we have a look at our equations that copy down, let's just check that it worked. Gold is 500,000, silver is 250,000, and bronze is 100,000. I'm going to use the control tilde feature so that we can have a look at the statements once again just to get our facts correct. Please note the opening and closing of the brackets. That is done because the statements are nested. I open an if here and I open an if here. I open a bracket here for the first if. I open a bracket here for the second if and I need to close the two brackets at the end. So take a good look at the statement. Let's go and take a look at the basic syntax again. That is what you would need to learn. And let's have a look underneath here. How do they fit in? There we go. If you are able to learn and understand your basic syntax for a nested if statement, and we don't go beyond 3 at level 1. You may in second year. At this stage we are only concerned with 3 criteria for the equation. If something equals something. Sorry. If something. If a cell equals something. It must say something. Second if. If a cell equals something, it must say something. And finally, the third if we just put in as a remainder. Students, please go through this activity as many times as you need. Ask us questions on the WhatsApp group. I think we're going to keep just this one activity for Monday and we will do 6.4 and 6.5 for Wednesday, which are slightly simpler activities. It will be an if and statement and an if or statement. This is an if and another if and another if. So we call this a nested if statement. The more you practice it, the more you will understand it. So between Monday and Wednesday, you would like to download this activity, practice it. If you get stuck, please do ask questions of the lecturer. If I move down slightly, I should have my answer visible there. And you will have C that is the same if statement that is under award. Students, thank you for watching today's lesson. Please feel free to watch the video as many times as you need to watch it in order to get it correct. And I hope you have a wonderful day and that you get this activity correct.